So after you've selected a view layout and linked your form, you will see the view configuration panel appear. At the top, there are three tabs corresponding to the different layouts that make up a view. These are the multiple entries layout, the single entry layout, and the edit entry layout. The multiple entries layout is the main page where your form entries will be displayed one after the other. If you're using the table layout, then each row would be an entry and each column would be a field from your form. The single entry layout page allows you to show more detailed information about a particular entry. This is useful if you don't want to display all the fields in your multiple entries layout. Finally, the edit entry layout allows you to specify which fields are editable from the front end. You can add a link to the edit entry page on the multiple entries page or the single entry page. As you can see here, the multiple entries layout is divided into three sections. Top widgets, entries fields, and bottom widgets. So what's the difference between fields and widgets? Well, fields are information that you display in your entry. As a general rule, the fields in your view correspond to the fields in your form. There are a couple of exceptions to this, such as the custom content field, which can be used to add custom content such as HTML and shortcodes into your entry. Widgets, on the other hand, are tools for navigating your views, such as search bars or pagination links. They are not specifically related to your form or your entries. You can only add widgets to the multiple entries layout. The single entry layout and the edit entry layout do not support widget areas. To add widgets to your view, click on the Add Widget button. Here you can see a list of all the widgets that are available. And depending on the extensions that you have installed, you might see different widgets appearing here. OK, so let's add a search bar widget at the top here. And when you do this, remember you can click on the gear icon here to bring up the settings and configure the search settings. All right, let's add another widget at the bottom. And this time we'll go for show pagination info. All right, in the entries field section, we can start adding our form fields by clicking this Add Table column button. So for now, we'll select the first name and last name fields. And let's update the view and check it out on the front end. So as you can see, we've got our search bar here at the top, pagination info at the bottom, and our form entries in our table in the middle.